How often have you been told that your report or thesis does not look professional because it lacks a proper list of references? If you write reports and want those reports to be taken seriously, then this video is for you. Especially if you plan to submit your reports to an institution, then they might ask you to submit the references in a particular format such as APA or IEEE. In this video, let's look at how you can manage references in LaTeX. The reason for using LaTeX is the professional typesetting that you simply cannot get with word processors such as Word. The way references work in LaTeX is very simple. You add a list of slash bib item commands for each reference. Each bib item command contains a key for that particular reference. You keep adding your references using slash bib items commands and enclose them within slash begin the bibliography and slash end the bibliography. To cite a reference in your actual report or essay, you only need to use the slash cite command and provide the key that corresponds to the reference that you wish to cite. Now you might have a question. Suppose you want to submit your report to an institute and that institute expects you to format the references in a different style. In this case, you might have to manually format your bib item entries to conform to that format. To help ease this process, you have access to a tool named BibTex. This tool comes bundled with your LaTeX installation. To use BibTex, you only need to create or download what's called a .bib file and include the references in that file in a given format. Changing your citation style impacts the formatting of how the citation appears in your referencing statement as well as how it appears in the list of references. Let's see how BibTex helps us with this. As I mentioned, a .bib file is just a plain text file, so you can view and edit it very easily. The structure of the file is also quite simple. Here's an example of a BibTex entry. You start with the alpha character followed by whether it's an article, book, and so on. Then you mention the key that should be used to cite that reference. After that, you include a list of fields and their corresponding values. To output a list of references, all you need to do is add the command slash bibliography with the .bib or .bib files that you've used. To cite a reference, use slash cite followed by the reference key in braces. You can even cite more than one reference at a time by separating the list of reference keys with commas. If you're using overleaf, then this much should help you cite and list your references. Sometimes, if you do not actually cite any reference in your report, but still want a list of references to be printed, then you need to add the following command slash no cite. If you're using a local installation of text, you might find that running PDF LaTeX or XE LaTeX or Lua LaTeX does not produce the desired effect of showing you the references. This is because there is a sequence that LaTeX follows in processing your .bib file. In the first PDF LaTeX run, PDF LaTeX sees information about the bibliography style and .bib file from your main .txt file and writes it to a file called main.ox. Next, BibTeX checks the entries that were cited in the .bib file and formats them using the style specified. The formatted bibliography is written into another file. Finally, you must run PDF LaTeX again. This sees the formatted entries written by BibTeX and inserts it between the slash begin the bibliography and slash end the bibliography in your LaTeX file then inserts the contents of main.bbl into data. This gives you the list of references section. Finally, you should run PDF data one more time to ensure that each citation listed using slash cite has the correct numbering in your data document. If you want to change your reference and citation style, then add the package biblatech and provide the style within the options. For example, 
you can use the APA or IEEE citation styles. Then add the reference to the .bib file using the command slash add bib resource in the preamble. To print the bibliography, use the command slash print bibliography. I hope this video gave you a good introduction to how to manage your references using LaTeX and specifically BibLaTeX. Thank you for watching.